Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Thank you so much to all of you that commented on my last vlog. I am so excited that you guys are loving the long vlogs. It's the purpose of my vlog, so you guys feel like you have some company while you are making something, and that's really the main goal. This video is kindly sponsored by Cricut. We are exactly 10 days, 10 days, I think 10 days, away from my first market. And I need to get my stuff together. I need to start preparing. And I'm not talking about knitting or crochet items because for this first market, I think I have enough items. I still want to crochet more plushies, but I need to start getting my setup ready. But what I know, that I need to do is a sign and there are a few things that I want to make that I want to make a few things that I need to get done for this market first one is a sign because the one that I had is just breaking it's breaking apart and you need a sign that says your business name so they know who you are so I'm trying to think how can I make my sign because I'm doing that first Let's unbox and see how everything looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay, I already know where I'm going to set up my machine. It's going to be in this corner. I don't know who uses a screwdriver to open a box, but... And I'm also a crafter. I have like 20,000 scissors, but no, I'm using a screwdriver. Okay, I'm getting a scissor. Why do I do this? Look at the ones that I picked. Oh. Okay, this one's better though. This is the baby that I got. It's the Cricut Maker 3. Now let's just unbox everything. Hello everyone, it's the next day. Oh, man, my glasses are so dirty. You guys, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I need to make booties. And I said that September was going to be the booties and plushies month, but I haven't had the time to make booties. I made plushies, um, but I haven't got to the booties yet. And I just had the biggest and most brilliant idea that I could have ever had. That's a pretty big statement. Anyways. I think I'm gonna make the booty soles with my Cricut. I hope it works. I really do hope it works. I think it will. And if it works, this is going to be the best thing in the world. You guys have no idea how long it takes. Well, if you make booties, you might know. But it takes so long to cut the sole, punch the holes, and do all of that. So if I can do that with my machine... <gasps> mm. So I'm gonna figure it out, how to do it, and I'm gonna come back and tell you exactly how I did it. Okay, so first I need to find the my booties container or bin, whatever. There's no good lighting in here. But if I can get this. Here it is. I found my bin. Okay, so these are the booty soles and they have the Sherpa. I'm really happy that I have this one. I can't remember what size this one is. I'll have to check. But this one takes forever to cut. Like, it takes forever. I have to draw everything and then I have to cut every single one of them. And then I have to punch the holes and all of that. And it is just very annoying. So if I can cut this with my Cricut. But the first thing I need to do is I have my templates in here. We're gonna scan them. Once I have that, I'm going to go into the sign space, which is the Cricut app, basically. And I opened the app, I downloaded it and everything, and it is so easy, like, like so user-friendly. I am impressed. So I have my app in here. Let's scan these first. Okay, I scanned this sole. Easy peasy. I put it in Design Space, the app for the Cricut, and it removed automatically the background. So that is perfect. It is ready to go. Now I need to cut this bad boy. I got this mat, and I think this is the one that I need. I'm going to cut 
enough so it fits. Let's see. I do not want to waste any piece of this material because, you know. I have my material in here. Now I just want to make sure that it fits perfectly in here so that I can also put it perfectly um, on the sign space. It is not perfect but it fits and I think I can work with this. Okay so I got it the exact same size as the mat. This one is the strong grip. I haven't taken the plastic yet so then I'm going to stick it on here and now let's go and head to the machine. Got this. I need to measure to make sure that the size is correctly in here. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna go in the sign space and click on upload, upload image, and I'm going to find the one. I'm going to click on complex. I have my transparent background. I'm going to choose for the machine to just cut the outline of the sole. Everything looks good, so I will click apply. I just wanna cut the image, so I'll click cut image. Um, so I'll click add to canvas and then I'm going to change in here the size 7.5 and then just changed the size and now I'm going to um, right click duplicate and I'm going to move this one invert it like this so they fit better make it I'm going to use my mat click confirm and in here making sure everything looks good okay that looks good to me so now I can go ahead and click continue it's connecting and now I just have to load the material and see the magic Let's see if it cuts the sole, and if it does that, then... Okay. Here we have it. Let's see. Let's peel this bad boy and see. Wow, it really did the cutting. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I have my So I basically have three pairs in here in less than five minutes and tracing the material and cutting would have taken me way longer than that. So I'm impressed. I'm like, I have no words right now, honestly. I'm gonna keep doing it. I used a little piece that I had and I cut another pair of sole. Look at that. Voila! Now I can use even the smallest pieces. And I still have a perfect cut. So you guys already know what I'm going to continue doing tonight. <laughs> Good morning everyone. Happy Thursday. I'm on my way to the craft store because I need to buy a little piece of wood to make my sign. Last night I made more salts with my machine and I just have to finish punching the holes for the for one half because I did one half and I'm super excited. I can't believe how fast that was because while my machine was cutting more, I was punching holes so that was like you know it was like a teamwork <laughs> okay let's go and 
I'll show you guys what I get. Okay, so there is a section in here where they have a lot of wooden pieces. <clears throat> and before, I think I used that one, which I think I might use that one as well because I really like the white, but it's too too tall. It's too square. <laughs> I want one that it's a little bit larger than like that one. Okay, so I got two because I couldn't decide and I need to go home, so I got two. I got the, oops, the long one, which is basically the same one that I had before. I wanted to get one that was maybe a little bit taller, but... And then I got this one because I think the color is very pretty. It's got the wood color and also this very creamy, nice, and then you can also hang it like this, so I think that's very pretty and I got paint that just fell <laughs> I'm back okay I should probably put something in here like uh, like a piece of plastic or something I totally should I have some brushes that I'm going to be using I should put a bag I should put a bag I'm saying in here now I should put a bag under this but I I am too lazy to do that. Nice. I probably still... Oh man, I should have put a bag. Oh, my beautiful desk that I made. <laughs> no. Okay, I think it's clean now. Just slow. My first sign is done. It's painted. I don't know if I'll do a second coat. I might do a second coat. Should I do a second coat? Okay, let's do it. Okay, so I am in this sign space. I'm going to do this one first because the other one is still drying. I am in the sign space. I'm going to open the new project and add a text. Now I think I want to put CJ and then design at the bottom like CJ in here and then design down here. So I'm doing that in the sign space. I'm going to change my font because I do not like the one that's here. Well, that was painful. <laughs> I assembled six and I think I only need four. Okay, so you already seen this one. The beads in here to hang, super cute, or you can put it in the back if you don't want them to hang. And then the other one is the long one. And I like both really much. Okay, here they are. What do you guys think? left or right which one do you like best ah oh, this is so hard i don't know i really don't know i like both i kind of like that one but i don't know you guys are gonna have to help me because i don't know which one i like best okay and now that we have the crates that are done i am so happy i need to get the other stuff ready 
so we have the crates we have the signs which i'm gonna pick which one to bring after i upload this video and then the other thing is my my money box <laughs> it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and everything that i showed again thank you to cricut for sponsoring today's video you guys i cannot believe how easy it is to use the machine i was able to cut these soles for my booties in like literally 10 minutes with zero experience i had no idea how to do it and it was so simple and easy the app it's completely free and i don't know you guys need to check it out i will leave all the links in the description box of this video if you want to get yourself a cricket and you know get creative and make all the things for your business like i will highly recommend it um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and please stick around don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video